Hi everyone, welcome to Scratch Projects. Today we will practice pen, blocks and the scratch. So our project is called Basic Paint. As you see when we click on the flag it shows one instruction up, down, arrows and space. These keys are going to help us to use the paint. When I press the down arrow it's going to put the pen down and it will allow me to start uh, painting. When I press the up arrow, it will stop painting because it will put the pen up. When I press the space, it's going to delete all the stage. Again, when I do down arrow, I will uh, keep writing. So this is the basic paint. Let's go to coding. For doing the basic paint, we will firstly change the sprite from cat to a normal pencil. I will go to write a uh, pencil to the search bar and then I will get the pencil but actually the size is too big for the stage is 100% I will decrease the uh, percentage of the size to 25 so which will be enough for the pen size and later on we will go to coding but as you see we have just look sounds events and other things but we don't have the pen in order to have the pen you can click on the add extension on the button and you will have extra features that are available for the uh, extensions of the scratch we will use the pen but we will also use these uh, things we will uh, do them in the following tutorials let's continue with the pen and when you click on the pen we will have the all the blocks related to pen and now I want to start drawing to do that first I will go to events and I will control the things by pressing the flag on right there and I want the action always to be done continuously with a forever loop that's why I will get the forever and then connect these things together and then if you want to control the pen with the mouse movement you can go to directly motion and from there you can get the go to random position and from the drop down menu choose the mouse pointer and now wherever you go the pen will come with you the only the thing left is to set the pen down we have to go to pen and uh, here is a pen down and pen up when I put the pen down here okay so it will always write this wherever you go so it will write like that by the way you can change the size of the pen example we can write here uh, 5 and then the size will be 5 so let's click double on this and then it will apply the change so we can start drawing like this uh, we can also change the color of this by changing the number of this to, to make this 40 and click double and it's going to affect as you see the color turns to another one but uh, it's it's hard to draw uh, intended shape uh, if the pen is always down sometimes we have to make the pen up maybe we will need to draw unconnected uh, figures or patterns uh, to do that we need to uh, use the uh, pen up block uh, but we cannot use everything in one place uh, better we use different uh, events we will go to events and then from here I will get different ones like this okay I'll try to get three yeah if I press the uh, arrow up so it's going to put the pen up I can go to pen and then get the pen up okay and if I press the down arrow in this case it's going to make the pen down and when I press the space I want the the stage to be clean okay it's going to erase everything whatever you draw let's say I press space so it's going to clear this part so whenever I uh, start the flag press uh, 
when I click on the flag so it's going to start uh, drawing but this is not the thing I want that's why I will uh, take the pen down from here I just wanna active the pen whenever I need I will clear by pressing space and then I will click on the flag you know why it's happening because I left the pen down that's why so I need to make a pen up by pressing up so now when I start this you can see that it's not uh, writing as soon as the you press the flag because it always checks the the last status of the pen if the pen was up uh, when you close the program from here and then after you start it will continue from the up but if your status was the down and it will continue from the down when you start the flag one more time so probably it's understood so in this project as you see we have done this job but uh, we made a paint uh, together uh, for some people to use and uh, when people use this thing they will not see these blocks so as a programmer you need to uh, make a friendly and instructional uh, interface so you will inform people and they will know how to use that to do that we will make a one instruction page in the instruction page it will explain what gonna happen when you press the up arrow down arrow or space let's move our mouse over the uh, this backdrop and then from here we will choose the one paint okay and then I will start writing my instruction I say instruction and uh, I can make this bigger okay and later on I see another text I would like to draw also a background for this I choose the background color to yellow example and then draw this right here okay and then to put this background and we will have the text in front and then the, the, the rectangle will go back and after doing that I will call this uh, intro okay so because when when the when the uh, program starts it will firstly show this instruction part and then it will t go to the stage for the painting let's go to the code part and click on the pen and we will say that when you press the flag what gonna happen we will go to first switch uh, the backdrop switch backdrop to intro and it will uh, do this it will show this for three seconds I go to control and then it will show this for three seconds and later on it will switch back to uh, the normal stage now when we click on the flag it will show us the instructions for the keys that what they used for and later on using these keys we will use our basic paint so we have done uh, our f uh, basic paint uh, in the coming tutorial we will do another uh, paint which will be with the features and how to ch with the changing colors with the changing size uh, hopefully you will also enjoy that one uh, all the best for you see another tutorial bye bye